Hi everyone, this is Cricket Song, and you're watching Starting Out Solitary. I'm subbing today for Corvos, and this is week 163, and we're talking about do you use mojo bags and poppets, and if so, how? So, yes, I use both. So, mojo bags and poppets, they both work on the idea of sympathetic magic, meaning that things that are, are representations of other things, correspondences, associations, that sort of thing, and actual items that may have belonged to someone uh, is a contagion, meaning that once it was part of something, it's always part of that thing. So using like fingernails and hair and bodily fluids, those things tie something to something else. And when I use mojo bags and poppets, I incorporate that tag lock or that contagion within the mojo bag or the poppet to tie it to the person that I want to use the mojo bag or poppet for. Now, generally when I use mojo bags, I use them usually for protection, prosperity, and health. Those are the three things I tend to use mojo bags for. And I generally use a mojo bag to give to someone else. I generally don't craft a mojo bag for myself. And the, I will do a, a more traditional spell for myself instead of crafting a mojo bag for myself. I find that crafting mojo bags for other people give that person that I'm giving the mojo bag to more control over the spell or the intention. And I will give them instructions on how to, you know, activate the mojo bag and how to feed the mojo bag. And if they desire how to kill the mojo bag or deconstruct the mojo bag so that the spell ceases. So using a mojo bag for me is generally used for a long-term spell, a spell that needs more than one shot, you know, like a, a spell for health, for improving someone's health condition. They would use, I would, I would craft this, the mojo bag, including something of theirs, you know, a hair or fingernails or spit, um, Put it in the mojo bag and then I would give them the mojo bag with instructions on how to activate that mojo bag and how to feed the mojo bag so that it could continuously work for them and then when or if they want to end it because they're in better health and they see no need to, to continue to carry the bag I will give them instructions on how to deconstruct the bag same with prosperity or protection. Um, those are the three things that I generally craft a mojo bag for and I gift it to someone. Um, usually it's, you know, they are in a situation where they're asking for my help and the mojo bag is the easiest way to help them, but have them be in control of that. So if they don't feed the mojo bag, then the mojo bag isn't going to continue to work for them. I, I give them control over the spell. I find it's more comfortable for me to do it in this way um, than to cast the spell. I just, for me, it, it works better that way. Um, the uh, another thing is sometimes uh, the one the one mojo bag that I have crafted for myself was to keep in the car for protection when driving the car. That's uh, so I would hang the mojo bag or put the mojo bag underneath the seat, um, but uh, I tend not to do that anymore. I tend to ward my car in a different way than using a mojo bag. Uh, that's how I, I generally use the mojo bags. Poppets, again, using sympathetic magic, I tend to use a poppet when doing a healing for someone. I'd prefer the person to be with me and I lay my hands on them to do the healing, but if they're unable to be with me in person, then I will craft a poppet 
and put some sort of personal item in the poppet. Again, fingernails, hair. If I can't do that, then I'll take a picture and I'll put place the picture on the poppet and that poppet becomes a stand-in for the healing. Um, and that poppet is tied to the person through sympathetic magic that I'm doing the healing for. That's generally how I use a poppet. And then the, uh, to do curses, I will use a poppet to do a curse. Again, the poppet stands in for the person that I'm looking to uh, curse. So the poppets generally act as a stand-in and the mojo bags tend to be an item that I give someone. Um, and the puppets, the only two reasons I generally use a puppet is for healing and cursing. I really don't find that you, there are any, for me at least, any other um, successful ways for me to use the puppet. Those are the two ways that I find work best for me. Uh, so that's how I uh, use puppets and mojo bags. Um, until next time, I love you. Blessed be. Mwah.